Designed with the experienced ounce counting backpacker and hiker in mind, the Granite Gear Virga 26 liter pack is a great option for day hiking, overnight trips if you have a light load, and if you've reduced your trail weight significantly and you're an ounce counting backpacker, this could be a multi-day pack. We'll take a look at all of the features and what makes this pack so special. The whole theme of this pack is streamlined and simple and lightweight, so we'll turn the pack around and look at the suspension system. You don't have a frame or a real back panel here at all. Um, true to the just really lightweight design, this pack is meant to carry up to 20 pounds, so it's not meant to carry a huge load. Um, we'll take a look here. You don't have really any foam or any padding back here. And um, if you do carry some sort of a closed cell foam pad that folds up or rolls up, you could use that inside the pack as um, some sort of a foam back panel. Um, but other than that, it's just the fabric here on the back. Um, you do have a really high density 100 denier Cordura material here on the back. And just throughout the pack, you have really durable materials as well. Um, in the shoulder straps, you have dual density foam straps. So these are gonna support the weight of the pack. On the front of the straps, there's a stretchy mesh pocket on either side. You have an adjustable sternum strap, so that's gonna give some support there. If you go up to the top, you do have lightweight load lifter straps. You don't have any real adjustability in the shoulder straps as far as moving it up and down, but these load lifter straps are gonna be able to um, kind of loosen and tighten where the straps are on the pack. So this is going to accommodate a torso length from about 18 inches up to 21 inches. If I move down, there's a really lightweight webbing belt on the bottom and that's really easy to adjust. Also in keeping with the lightweight features of this pack. The design of this pack is a pretty traditional rucksack style pack. So you have just one big main body compartment, but on the outside of the pack, there is a lot of organizational features, a lot of ways to lash gear onto the outside and some minimal pockets. So we'll turn the pack around and take a look at all of those. On the side, as you can see, I've got a pair of trekking poles just lashed to the side. Um, you've got tool loops down here on the bottom, so I just have the bottom of the trekking poles there. And then um, the compression straps on the side hold the trekking poles down. So you can put tools here. Um, you can, there's uh, ice axe loops, so you can definitely lash gear like that. And then behind there, I have a stretchy mesh pocket. This strap down in the bottom is routed outside the pocket uh, to hold the gear on the outside, but you can actually route that inside the pocket as well. On the other side, I've got a water bottle in there, and if I want to, I can route this strap underneath of that water bottle, and that way I can cinch down the, the body of the pack. But um, it's a pretty deep pocket, so this is a pretty tall water bottle I've got in there. And um, you can store other things like tent poles or anything like that in there. On the front, you have a big stretchy shove it pocket right here on the front. And um, in there, I've just got an extra layer. So just a packable lightweight layer. As you can see, that pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. Great place to store lightweight gear on the front. And there's compression straps on the front as well. So there's a lot of versatility with this pack. Um, I've got it packed out pretty well, meaning that you know I've got most of the capacity filled. But if you have a lighter or smaller load, you can use all of these compression straps to really cinch down uh, the weight and to keep everything cinched together. As I mentioned, this is a top loading pack. So you have a non-traditional lid. You roll down the top of it and clip it off. And what's nice about the collar up here is that you have um, a bigger capacity collar. I've got it packed out most of the way to the top, but if you need more capacity here, you can extend this collar up a lot higher. So, you know, if you need to put some extra gear in there, you can certainly use it in that way. But this pack opens up to be really big, so you can access um, the hydration sleeve that's back here. You've got a hydration port on the outside of the pack. 
Um, and again, just that big open rucksack style pocket. If I cinch down this top lid, you do have another strap that goes over the top. So you could put a sleeping pad or something like that. You could drape a rope over the top if you need to. So definitely a multifunctional pack. This is perfect for anyone who wants to go fast and light. Needs a pack that is pretty versatile, um, but is also in keeping with that ounce counting backpack style. It is the Granite Gear Verga 26 liter pack.